what was your first day on set like? Were you A, intimidated, <laughs> B, nervous as shit, C, I mean, what were the emotions or were you confident you're ready to go or were you just overwhelmed? <laughs> I was, I was just looking forward to meeting Taika and Jermaine, obviously, because by that point I'd seen the movie and I was such a fan and Flight of the Concord and all that. And oh, yeah. so I was just excited to meet them. But I was more nervous to meet the cast because I was going to have to act opposite of Kayvon. I never had the chemistry read. So, you know, in Hollywood, that can make or break a, a character yeah. storyline. And I I was nervous to meet him. And so I was like, oh, please, because the script is so good. I knew the script was good. I was like, if I just make this pilot and the pilot doesn't go, I'll have this footage, right? I'll have this footage. Like, I can keep this because it's so good. Like, I was like, the script is so good. And I got to set. And the first thing came, I was like, hey, man. And he just like gave me this huge hug. And he was so welcoming and loving. I was like, thank God, you know. And 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 it didn't worked out. We shot the pilot, and after I shot the pilot, I knew that it was really special. Like I was like, we have to get picked. This is crazy. Like this is such a good show, uh, but good shows don't tend to last long. You know, yeah. like sometimes they get canned really quickly. And that had been the trajectory up to that part. It's just the casting in that overall is just everyone is just great. Yeah, everyone has their own personality. Is there one in particular, one actor that makes you laugh the most for some reason? It's probably Kayvon. Most of my scenes are with Kayvon and, and he plays Nandor. He's just a master of voices. He can mimic anyone on set. Uh, he can. Is he always joking? Always joking. Um, also, he'll he'll make a joke and then he'll remember and laugh at the, his own joke that he just made. <laughs> that so he'll be like, me. and then he'll be like, oh, and then he starts laughing. And, he's, and he knows that like, I rarely break character as Guillermo like on set because Guillermo's the only human and he's so contained because the vampires get to be over the top, great character of like, you know, almost like a farce, you know? And that's They improvise constantly? All the time. Like our show is made of 50% scripted and 50% You too? Yeah. Yours is 50% mm -hmm. improvised. That's why this cast, I've never been with the cast like this where everyone's firing on all cylinders. It's playing like hot potato and the potatoes never dropped. We had a, we had a season one take that ended up being about 20 seconds in the show, but we shot for maybe 28 minutes of improv. Just let the camera roll. 28 minutes of us going off script. It was like who, like it was a, a, a revolving door kind of thing where we're in the living room and Nandor's like, Guillermo. And I'm like, I'm in the, I'm in the fancy room. Guillermo, I'm over here, master. Guillermo. And he comes in through another door and I exit the other door. He's like, Guillermo. And then Naja comes in. So like, what are you yelling about? I'm looking for Guillermo. Oh, I just saw him in the other room. He goes that room. Like it was like, da -da 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 like just for 26 going. minutes, for 26 minutes, no one yelled cut. And you'll never see that footage because it was only 20 seconds of it that you needed for the In show. the beginning, was it intimidating to for them to go, keep going, add, improvise, go? I don't, for me, no, because I tend to want to improvise a lot. And that, you know, that's not usually the norm. Like in the scripted series, like, you know, you'll have, obviously, you know, you get on certain shows and they're like, this has to be verbatim. You know what I mean? Right. Like, this is why, like, so you can't paraphrase, you can't add words. I like a little bit of like ad lib because it makes it feel organic. It makes you feel like these characters are real. They're not like just like, I don't know what's going to happen next. You know, like it's not like, you know, so yeah, yeah. to the T that it's just like, ah, um, I like improvising. So for me, it was fun. I You tell me to improvise, improvise all day long. So the lines are written. So you have to read certain lines. These are the lines we want you to say. Yeah. And then do whatever you want. Yeah. So the, we'll always do a take with the scripted version. And that's what Taika and Jermaine, what's so lovely is they set this rule up for us even though like now they're, you know, doing projects all over the world and stuff and they'll come and say hi once in a while, but like it's now been handed over to our amazing EPs, um, you know, Paul and Stephanie uh, and Sarah Naftales who are amazing at continuing that tradition where they go get one as script written, you know, which is already, the scripts are biased. If we didn't improvise on the show, it's the still scripts be good. are like They're good. They're so good that we get the the freedom to do one scripted version and then they go, we call it funsies. So then, so Yana Gorskaya, our director, or Kyle Nuitchek, our director, goes, all right, funsies, or Yana will go, funsies, you know, which means that we got what we wanted. We got the take scripted. Now have fun. 